We're continuing with our VH1's Love and Hip Hop Takeover Week, and our next guests are cousins, rappers, and Atlanta natives who always bring the drama and the laughs. You can catch them with all our favorites on VH1 Family Reunion Love and Hip Hop Edition. Please welcome Scrappy and Jock. Hey, fellas. Yeah. Hey. Hi, guys. Good. Go for Good. being here. Thank you, man. Scrappy. I hear your wife, Bambi, watches the show. Is that true? Yeah, she watches the show, definitely. Aggressive. <laughs> All right. Hi, Bambi. How you doing, Bambi? Hey. Hey, Bambi. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> so, so, Jock, I'm going to start with you. You being quiet right now, but we're about to jump in deep. We're going in the deep end. You got your fiancé, Kendra's name, tattooed on your, let's just say, your private region. What wow. in the world did she think when you surprised her with that gift? She was definitely taken. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think he, even as a man, if, if, if she came home to me with that, I'd have been lost. Of course, when I showed her to her, she was like, what's wrong? What's why I look? What's something wrong, baby? She was like, oh, you got to go to the, I was like, wait, wait, look at what it is. Then when she saw it, she was just like, and I was like, yeah, I probably did too much. Accurate. But it was for you, babe. <laughs> wow. So, I have Scrappy's so like I have to know. Do you have any regrets about getting that tattoo? Um you know, it's one of those things where I was kinda like, yeah, okay, I probably did a little too much to prove that, you know, <laughs> I'm yours, but uh, uh the only regret is when I'm um about to get into what we do. It looked like a a subway train with graffiti on it. You know what I'm saying? A like train car. Oh. Choo choo! Choo choo! I can't. Okay. Oh, Scrappy, okay. the visual is something Scrappy's I will face. live with forever. Thank I'm you. I'm not even trying to have it. Metro card has a whole new meaning now. All right, <laughs> so, bro. What did you think when you found out that Jock did that? Scrappy, what did you think? I just wanted to move to the next subject. You know what I'm saying? Because that was too much. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to even see nothing, hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to keep going. You know what I'm Yeah, he wait, 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 wait. visuals. Hold on, though. This is about love. It was a gesture. You have a lot of love for Bambi. Would you ever do something like this? Nah, I, I do some other type <laughs> stuff. You feel me? Like, my love is different. What But what yeah. What could say love like a tattoo there? What would you do for Bambi? Give me something that's the equivalent. That's like the equivalent. There's nothing you can equivalent to that. Like, I'm... <laughs> I do stuff like... See, I do stuff like... You know, I lay in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do death to find stuff, but... I, you know what I'm saying? Like, who phone is that? Oh Die. What is that? Who phone is that during an interview? <laughs> it got to be cuz, man. I can't. J Jock, is that your phone? Or the scrappy? train. The train. That's the sound of the train. No, cuz. Okay, well, we're going to keep on going, fellas. Now, Please. Jock, you got engaged in 2019. When When's the wedding? And will fans get to watch it on TV? Yeah, man. So, of, of course, we had planned on doing it last year. And, you know, of course, we all know what, what postponed that. Right. So I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, us possibly tying or not this year. And everyone is like, well, is it going to be on TV? Is it going to be on TV? Right. And I think right now what we're trying to get cleared is if the camera crew will jump out of, will skydive with us out the plane. Uh, we're going to theme the wedding and falling in love. So we're going we're gonna to do our vows wow. in, in mid air. So by the time we touch down, the wedding falling. part, it's, it's got to be a practice, you know, jump. I'm a little they scared. You can use drones. I'm watching. I'm going they can to use watch drones that though. If you know, because I don't think they can jump with the equipment. Guys. But they can use drones. Well, no, but they gotta try falling the in love. That's a little genius. That's no. I just falling want, I don't in love. love. They, Scrappy oh, is lying down the in the crew. streets. He's getting <laughs> tattoos <laughs> on his privates. We are jumping out of airplanes, falling in love. Don't kill the camera crew, like Lonnie said. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Scrappy, another amazing part of you guys' dynamics is Mama D. We got to talk about Mama D, Scrappy, because I love her. 
in oh. that order. But I have yeah. to ask, does she ever do things that embarrass you? And if so, what is the most embarrassing thing your mom has done to you? I think it's a it's a 24-7 embarrassment thing. It's like <laughs> my mama, my mama don't have no, she don't have no kind of stop mechanism with her. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she just go, you know, so no matter what the situation. Her. And the most crazy thing love she done ever did, we sitting right there talking, and she, I guess she thinking I'm a homegirl, a homeboy or something, and she started talking about how her, her husband having sex. I'm like, cuz, you can't do that right now. Like, we're not doing this. This is not, like, we don't have that relationship. You know what I'm saying? We got to chill. Cuz, be lit. You just cut your mom. You can't cut your mom. You can't yes. call her cut. Oh, I my can, goodness. You have to. She don't know no other language. She don't do that. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, like, like, like you, you, know, you go to your mama, you know, you go to your mama, you like, man, I'm hurt. I hurt something. And I, I she'd be like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it together. Right. She'd be like, damn. She speaks the language. <laughs> <laughs> Tough uh, love, man. I'm here for it. You got to yeah. tell her, you got to tell her you deserve, you deserve love, you know? I, I, I deserve. <laughs> I deserve. I definitely deserve. You want to put this on your boo-boo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, Jock, you were actually <laughs> featured on a track, Mama D released. Are you working on any more music now? Yeah, actually, uh, I just uh, recorded a record with Rick Ross called Big Stepper. And it's the prettiest, okay. it's, I mean, it's one of those real simple, as soon as you hear it, you're gonna be like, hey, it, it's instantly, it's a bop, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bop, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm working with the artist by the name of Callie. Um, working on some big things with her. She's definitely going to catch the world off guard. Um, if, you, if you've seen her on TikTok, she's got one of the fastest growing challenges on TikTok, the Pretty Girl Challenge. Uh, and it's, it's, the record is called Do It Be. And I mean, so many people are doing it. So I, I know some big things are going to come out of this. Oh, that's great. And Scrappy, what about you? Are you working on any music? Yeah, I got a single that's dropping right now called Florida to Georgia with my homie Tom G straight out of Tampa. They just won a championship, so it's a, it's a good enough time to drop it. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I got an artist called D the Problem and One Way Fly. We're finna drop on my new label called The Committee ENT. Uh, also, me and my wife, we got a, a, a new um, a store, you know what I'm saying, called Shimmer. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? The House of Shimmer Atlanta is going all the way down. We up there, stuck there, for real. Oh, wow.